Hello people, this is Self Tuts and we are continuing our series on AWS Lambda and in this video we'll see what is callback function inside our handler function. So we have seen the syntax of our handler function as a function which is exported with any name. In this case we are using my handler and this function accepts three argument which are event context and callback. We have already seen in previous videos that what this event and this context parameter are and in this video we'll see what this callback function or this callback parameter is. So basically this callback function is the exit point of your lambda function. So if you want to provide some response to the user or if you want to throw some error to the user then you need to use this callback parameter. Callback parameter in handler function is optional so it depends on you that if you need to provide this callback parameter or if you do not need to provide it. So you can use this handler function without this callback parameter also. If no callback is present, then it means callback is called without any parameter. So if you're not providing this callback parameter, which means or this callback function, then it means that AWS Lambda will itself call the callback parameter in behind. And this callback uh, function will not accept any uh, parameter inside it. So we'll see the signature of this callback function or the callback parameter that what are the parameter that this callback function needs. So basically the callback syntax or the callback parameter that we are going to use or basically this callback function that we are going to use accepts two parameter that is parameter one and parameter two. Depending on the case that either we are going to provide an error or a successful response, we need to set this parameter. So if the case is error, then we need to set the first parameter and we don't need to set the second parameter. So if this first parameter is non-null, means it is it is not null, then it means that we are trying to throw an error, which means our lambda function is going to throw an error if we provide the first parameter and it is not null. In the case of success scenario, we need to provide the first parameter also and the second parameter also but the first parameter should be null and the second parameter can be any javascript object or javascript string in this case also it can be an error object or some string which we need to throw as an error so the main point of difference here is that if you want to throw an error then you need to set this first parameter and if you want to return a response then you need to set the first parameter as null and the second parameter as the response that you want to send. So suppose we are calling the callback function without any parameter then it means it indicates success but no information returned to the caller which means that the here the uh, both the parameter are empty so this basically denotes a success response but no information is written to the caller. If you call the callback function with the first parameter as null, then this also says that it is a success, but there is no information that will be returned to the caller. If we call the callback parameter with the first parameter as null and the second parameter as a string or an object, then it says that it is a success and the information is returned to the caller and the information that is returned is the success string. If you provide a object here then the stringified version of that will be returned to the user. If we call this callback parameter with first parameter as an error object or error string or some string in JavaScript then it means that error is there and with this error information is returned to the caller. So the first parameter will automatically be returned to the user. So we, you, you don't need to provide the second parameter. This parameter, first parameter will be used as the information or will be the data that will be returned to the user. So we'll go to our AWS console in the web and we'll see this, how to use this callback function. So I have already created an account in my uh, AWS Amazon Web Services to access Amazon Web Service, you need to create your, uh, this create your account in your AWS Amazon Web Services. So I have already logged in. So I'm going to my console and inside my console, inside the services tab, I'll go to this Lambda service. So inside the Lambda service, we have already seen this interface that this is a web console for our AWS Lambda 
and here my lambda function and other functions are listed so we are working on our hello world function so we'll just open it and this is the place where we can edit our code so at present there is no callback function that is being called or or nothing is present inside this handler function so just we'll try to save and test it and see what is the response so we saved it and the response that we get is null so as we have seen that if no uh, callback function is called or if no callback parameter is present then by default aws lambda will send us a response of null now we'll try to use this and we'll say that we want to throw some error so we'll say uh, something like this we'll call the callback with a string simple string and the first parameter is just a string this is an error so we have used the callback parameter here the callback function and we have set the first parameter of this callback function which says that this will throw an error so we'll just save and test it and you can see the error message is there and this is an error so we have uh, successfully seen that if we are setting only the first parameter then it means that we are trying to send an error now for the success we'll create a javascript object so suppose we are creating a object with response and this will be uh, we'll say that the code for this is success and we'll also send some more data to it so we'll say data is there and the data is an object and inside this object there is only one parameter and the name of this parameter is name and the value of this parameter is self touch so what we are trying to say that upon uh, execution of this lambda function we are trying to send this as a response so when we are trying to send a response to the user then we need to provide the first parameter as the null and the second parameter as the name of the object or name of uh, uh, or simply the string so in this case we have created a response object which is basically the case that we send the response like this that there is some code success or error and then we send some data inside it so this response object will be sent back to the user so we'll just save and test it and we can see inside this that the execution is successful means the result is successful with the green tick and the code or the uh, message or the response that we are getting from the lambda function is the same response that we are sending from here so if we send the same response as the first parameter then what it will say it will become an error and it and there will not be a green tick there will be a red tick so we'll say save and test and what it does it says that execution result failed and this time the object the stringy white version of the object is sent as the response so you need to keep in mind that if you want to throw a error then we need to set the first parameter and if you want to send some meaningful response then the first parameter should be null and the second parameter should be the response or any string that you want to send so this was all about the callback Uh, parameter now we are done with our handler function and we have seen all the three parameter that how to use all this uh, all this parameter so if you like my channel please subscribe to it and if you like this video please give a thumbs up thank you